today is the area of what I would call like going back to real business fundamentals where you have to do everything like, you know, running a YouTube channel in a way is like running a startup. I do user feedback through the comment section. I think about marketing as thumbnails and titles. I iterate by doing different hooks and video ideas and I keep pivoting and I keep trying to stay relevant and I keep trying to earn your respect and trust as a viewer because that's the only way to stay relevant. And I think that is what engineering is now. Instead of just joining some random company and changing the color of a random button, that's not valuable anymore. In fact, I'd probably argue it probably was never valuable, but back when it was an employee's market, not an employer's, we just needed more hands. And so it was just hire everybody and just give them something to do. But now that we can become more efficient, I think it's, it's really like actually solving problems, which again is the core. And it's kind of like a cycle. We kind of like, we try to solve real problems and then we just kind of like go up, 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 and we lose track of that. And at some point it bursts. And then we're like, wait a second, we're only here to solve problems. And then as some startup appears because big tech is moving too slowly and then they become the new hot thing. But I think we're back in this like inflection point of going back to fundamentals of solving problems. And so if you're a software engineer, you're a computer science student, just use these tools and build stuff. Like just get good at being an iterator and experimenter um, and that, that kind of hackathon vibe.